Hi everyone, this is Raj Hardal from uh, Venice Hybrid Tech and uh, I've been working on a Toyota Prius Generation 2 car. Uh, this car, the battery has not been in use for the last four years. It belonged to somebody who just parked the vehicle and did not use it. And then uh, somebody bought it from those person, that person and uh, brought it to me for uh, reviving the battery and uh, making sure that the car runs. So um, I know there are a lot of cases like this and I get uh, people calling me all the time about uh, my vehicle has been parked for two years and I want to bring the battery back to life and how do we go about it. And uh, some of you have uh, bought my chargers and used them. So I thought I'll just uh, make a short video and show it to everybody the connections and the whole process of charging and discharging uh, so that uh, others can learn and do the same thing. So with that uh, in view, I'm, what I basically did was that the battery, since it was totally almost dead, when I started, it was reading only 59 volts for the whole pack. So what I did was I put on my grid charger on it because I wanted to charge it slowly. And uh, it went up to 195 volts maximum. Then I used my uh, shop light or what some people call it a work light. And I took it, uh, but I did not use 1000 watts of uh, halogen bulb, but used only one light that is 500 watts because I wanted to discharge it slowly. Uh, but still, uh, it discharged very quickly. In about uh, five to seven minutes, it was back to about 50 volts. So then after that, I let it sit for about half an hour or rather one hour and then I put the my grid charger back on again. It took three to four hours for it to go up to again. It didn't go very high. It went up to about 199, uh, 200 volts. Then again I waited for half an hour, put my work light on it and brought it down to Again, it went down to about 50 volts. And this time it took about 10 to 12 minutes. Not much improvement. Anyway, uh, the third time I used my high speed charger because I wanted to uh, give a boost to the, to the modules and bring them up. So I put my high speed charger on it and it went up to 225 to 27 volts which was very encouraging. Then this time uh, I kept my uh, high speed charger on it for another 10 minutes that it saturated the battery and then um, turned it off. Now this time I used my work light and to my surprise it worked almost uh, 25 minutes uh, before it died. So that was very encouraging. And uh, after that, the next cycle, I used, again, uh, waited for half an hour to one hour in between. And then I used the, uh, again, my high speed charger. And this time, the battery went up to uh, 227 volts. And uh, that was, uh, actually it went up to 230. And I was very happy with that. Uh, left it on for another 10 minutes and then turned it off. But the good thing that I noticed was that every time I turned the charger off, the battery was retaining the charge. So that's a very, very good sign. It will go down by about a couple of volts, maybe maximum five volts, but it'll stay there, which showed me that the cells were now holding charge and they were maintaining, retaining the charge. Uh, anyway, again, I put the work light on 
and uh, brought it down. This time, it took almost 45 minutes before the light went off. So, uh, another very good sign for me. And uh, I let it uh, uh, let it remain discharged the whole night. Next day, in the morning, I started using my high-speed charger and uh, went it I took it almost up to 239 volts, almost 240. And uh, again, let it saturate, uh, kept the charger on for another 10, 10 minutes, and then turned it off to see whether the uh, modules are holding charge or not. And they were, it just went down to about 237. And I put my discharger on, or the discharger with the work light. And this time it was 45 minutes to almost one hour before it went down. Actually the light was really, really bright. So that in nutshell, nutshell is what happened. And uh, I want to show you now, we're going to go over to the vehicle and I'm going to show you uh, how I worked on the battery, what connections I made, where I made the connection, and uh, all that. So let's go over to the vehicle and I'll show you everything there. Okay, so this is the vehicle, uh, Toyota Prius Generation 2. The first thing to notice is that I didn't have to remove everything. All that I did was I removed these two covers on the left side as we are looking from uh, the trunk side. So this, this portion, this whole side was open and then the two covers on top were removed. And then as you can see, I made the char connections for the charger and the charger is working here is showing 236 volts. I'm going to take it to about 240 or maybe even higher and the safety plug has to be inserted in. For making the connections, you can see better, the, the left and the blue, uh, black and the red clips, those are the clips for the high speed charger. And in addition, I also got my grid charger, which I used initially. Now. For discharging, the same two points are going to be used. The, 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 the where the clips are, same place. I'm going to connect my shop light or the work light and discharge it. And uh, then uh, after this, I think my battery is ready, and I'm going to um, try to start the car and see how it behaves. But basically, I just wanted to show you how this uh, battery can be charged while it is inside the vehicle. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Uh, like us on Facebook uh, or like us on, on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.